Uh, we've talked before about how much we love the Muppets. Uh, it's the main reason we went to Jollywood. Uh, yes. Pr- probably 90% of the reason we went to <clears throat> Jollywood was to see uh, Kermit and Miss Piggy in person. Yeah. Uh, but did you know there was a time when the Muppets were going to have a much bigger part uh, at Hollywood Studios? Yeah, because they have like a whole little area. Yeah. I'm going to play this clip for you right now in case it's something you've never seen before. Okay. Dateline, Walt Disney World. The newest theme park in Walt Disney World is really growing. Coming to the Disney MGM Studios theme park will be the all-new Mickey's Movie Land. Roger Rabbit's Hollywood with a wild ride on a Toontown trolley. Dick Tracy's Crime Stoppers where guests can shoot it out with crooks. And the Muppet Studio. So What? <laughs> yeah, what happened? None of those things. Okay, uh, various things happened. So, uh, uh, what year was this? This was uh, like... This is... Okay. So... Uh, MGM, which is now Hollywood Studios, right. opened in 89. It was rushed to get it open before Universal, which opened oh, in 90. Okay. So, like, when Hollywood Studios opens, MGM Studios opens, uh, it's kind of bare bones. So, like, it's like it has, like, two rides. It's, like, the great movie ride and then, like, the, the backlot ride. And then it's just, like, maybe shows and, like, performers and stuff like that. Okay. So, immediately, they start being like, this is the expansion. This is what we're going to do. This is, Okay. Um, but they had to get it open before Universal. That's and there's more to that that we can talk about. I was about gonna say I would say you get it open and have it good, then yeah. just open it and have it. Flop. It's, nope, it's who is open first. Okay. Um, so Mickey's the Mickey portion of it, which eventually ended up being like Sunset Boulevard, kind of where um, Tower of Terror is. Mm-hmm. So the thought process, supposedly, the thought process kind of is like at this time Mickey wasn't the most beloved character. They hadn't wow. they hadn't done any like real Mickey shorts well, or anything true. like that in a long time. Like I know when I was a kid, I didn't like Mickey Mouse that much because he to me represented. He was just like. Tony the Tiger or like any other cartoon character that represented a brand. He's like Ronald McDonald. Okay. Okay. So like kids at the time, for the most part, not everybody, but did not care for Mickey. So they like, we're not doing the Mickey thing. Roger Rabbit's land got scrapped because of uh, kind of a rights issue of who owned him. Uh, because it was made with uh, Amblin Entertainment, which is Steven Spielberg, who was doing stuff with Universal at the time. So like that well, still is doing stuff. Correct. And yeah. that relationship really got strained. So like they wow. they pretty much just scrapped all Roger Rabbit stuff. It's over in Disneyland and there's still like, you know, remnants of him at, at Hollywood Studios. But like that's why that went away. I never put that together before that like Steven Spielberg really is like you know kind of like universal like yeah george lucas is disney steven spielberg is like universal yeah but it is weird that universal doesn't have roger rabbit stuff yeah okay um then there was the dick tracy part that was going to be like a whole ride similar to like the buzz Lightyear uh space ranger spin or men in black where you'd be on it and like have to shoot stuff interesting but that movie did not do well at the box office so they really? got rid of it yeah and then there's muppet studios which okay. was going to be uh, huge. At this time, that's when also they uh, filmed the special for Magic World of Disney. Okay. Where they did the movie that I just watched on YouTube. You can find it. Uh, it's an episode of the show where the Muppets uh, are at Walt Disney World where they bop around all over. Yeah. You, yeah. It opens with Eisner and uh, Fozzie and his mom having dinner uh, at the Grand Floridian. Uh, and Wild. then Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then ends with them all putting their hands in cement in front of the Chinese theater. Precious. Uh, and uh, and uh, Miss Piggy stays there too long and gets stuck. Because she stayed there <laughs> to like sign autographs and That's stuff. cute. I wish there was more Muppets at Hollywood Studios. They have that whole little wing. Mm-hmm. They, they could do so much. Yeah. I'm going to play the second clip for you. Okay. And the Muppet Studios with a Muppet Vision 3D movie and the Muppets movie ride. It'll be a backstage ride of explaining how movies are shot. And it's almost, uh, but all the information is wrong. (laughs) Uh, That would have been cute. Yeah, so kind of what happened with that is, uh, so Jim Henson and Disney kind of have like, like they talk about in the documentary a little bit, like a handshake agreement. Yeah. Basically, Jim wanted to kind of stop running the business and just wanted to focus on doing creative stuff. So he was going to basically 
merge with Disney and then stay on as like a creative consultant. So they started moving the process on this, but nothing was really like officially set in stone. So he passes away very quickly, very abruptly. And Disney can't really reach an agreement with his estate. So everything goes away except for Muppet Vision 3D, which kind of had already been in the process then. So when it was opened, it was Jim Henson's Muppet Vision 3D. Yeah, I do remember that. Um, I think it was even Jim Henson's Muppet Vision 3D in like the 90s, wasn't it? Yep, and we'll get there. Okay. Okay, So uh, what this land would have been is first kind of the marquee attraction for it would have been the Great Muppet Movie Ride, Mm -hmm. uh, a parody of the Great Movie Ride. So good. Uh, You'd go behind the scenes where the Muppets are making parodies of movies like Peter Pan and Frankenstein. Oh my God, that would have been so fun. It would have been great. Uh, You'd have Miss Piggy. Why can't they do it now? They could. They could do anything. They just have to remember. We just have to. We just have to call them and tell them. Yep. You you have to be like, "Hey, I know about. I know the kids love Star Wars and Toy Story, but we really need that Muppet Land." I Uh, think the kids do love Muppets. Like, I think it's millennials and Gen X. I don't know. We took baby Lily, and when we gave her her first Kermit, yeah, she like attacked him. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I was gonna have that Kermit sitting in the back. He was supposed this to be very Kermit here. He was supposed to be sitting in the back of the set the whole time. I forgot all about him. Sorry, Kermit. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Kermit. Kermit the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> was it close? Well, the laugh that was Ernie's laugh for starters. Kermit laughs like that too. Okay. No, Kermit's more down here. Hi ho, Kermit the Frog. Little, right. little little Ray Romano. <laughs> Jim Henson. I had no idea that. He really didn't do much to be Kermit. Like, yeah. a little bit, but it was mostly just yeah. his voice. Well, now he gets a... And uh, the other thing would have been uh, the great Gonzo's Pandemonium Pizza Parlor. Uh, so this would have been run by Gonzo and Rizzo. It would be an interactive restaurant with animatronic rats that would deliver food. Yes. Uh, the Swedish chef would be running the kitchen. That would be fun. Uh, occasionally there would be explosions. Uh, the door would fly open with smoke and feathers coming out. I want all of that. Uh, and there would be monitors around the restaurant where you could see the kitchen. The chaos. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that would have been super fun. I want all of we, that. We do still have a, a Muppets restaurant in Pizza Rizzo. But we now have a Muppets. It, what was it originally? Pizza Planet. And then they now it's Pizza uh, Rizzo. Pizza Rizzo and it's Muppet ish yeah there's definitely not this fun stuff not at all i want all of that uh so anyways things changed when jim died so it became only uh muppet vision uh until disney purchased muppets so it wasn't like a merger they own the muppets now wow uh and and in 2004 uh is when they made the purchase and removed jim name jim's name from the attraction so there's absolutely no reason we can't have a Muppet. No. Rock and roller. No, but that's why, like, Jim Henson, or that's why the Muppets can pop up at, like, Jollywood and stuff. Yeah. Or the, uh, they were just at the 35th anniversary of Hollywood Studios, the opening ceremonies. Yeah. So, yeah, they could do it. Uh, and then, of course, in 2019, the, uh, the Liberty Inn Quick Service restaurant was closed at Epcot and reopened, uh, the following February as Regal Eagle Smokehouse and closed in March. <laughs> Because it's 2020. <laughs> I was going to say, because it, it got a lot better now that it's the Regal Eagle. Like, people actually go there and eat there before then. I don't think it, like, drew in a lot of people. Yeah. Well, it's like, why would you go to Epcot and eat in America? Is always my, my thoughts. Well, that's true. Because even if, like, Disney World does bring in a lot of international, yeah. like, travel. But I guess, like, even if you're there, you're eating American food, like, at every quick service. Why yeah. would you eat there? But it I, is delicious. I eat American though. food. 365 days well, of the year. Well, that's us who live here, but maybe they were doing it, you know, for to be part of the... I always thought it was weird that America was even part of World Showcase oh. because, like, step away a second and you're in America. It was supposed to be an even bigger part of the World Showcase. I watched, like, a history of the World Showcase when they first tried to have, like, 30 pavilions, and the first one you entered would be America, and it was like, here's our glorious history. Yeah, that's like the most American <laughs> thing. Okay, friends, if you enjoy this show, please go to your podcast player of choice and click on follow and then turn on automatic downloads. Not only will this help the podcast, but it will guarantee you have the best listening experience possible. If you head to Apple Podcasts and write a five-star review, we might read it on the show, especially if it's funny. (laughs) 
<laughs> Why did you say it like that? Because wouldn't we get almost no reviews? Don't you think you'd read any review? I mean, obviously, if it's mean, read, yeah, I wouldn't read out. any review. But like, funny or not, and we also it. we also won't read four star reviews. So if you want to be to be read, <laughs> you better leave a five star review. Uh, anyways, make sure to follow Big Thunder Pod on Instagram and subscribe on YouTube. Thanks for coming, and we'll see you next week. And enjoy the ride. <laughs>